China has begun military drills around Taiwan. We haven't seen uh, this level of incursion. Japan says China likely fired missiles over parts of Taiwan. With the People's Liberation Army flexing its muscles and the Communist Party stepping up the rhetoric. China looms large as Taiwan votes for its next leader. We don't want to be enemies. We can be friends. And uh, we love to see China can enjoy democracy and freedom just like us. The Taiwan Strait must be stable, and Taiwan must be safe. This is my top priority. A real important principle is we have to think of a way to have dialogue with China and not just always tell them no, because after no, there is no other step. The world is watching as Taiwanese voters choose their new president, and their decision could determine the balance of power and prospects for peace and stability in this region in the years to come. Elections in Taiwan tend to be inflection points for the cross-strait relationship. They have seen over the history of Taiwan's presidential elections sort of a change in the relationship and also heightened periods of tension leading up to and following it. Now, what makes this election particularly different is that this is the end of Tsai Ing-wen's era. And regardless of who wins next, we're going to be going into uncharted territory with a new president.